Hello guys, we've got another mailbag video today. It's uh, from gearbest.com again. What we have today is a charger for five LiPo batteries and the five LiPo batteries come with the with the um, charger. Uh, these are 650 milliamp hour batteries and obviously they're single cell 3.7 volts because that's what I uh, use for pretty much all my tractors. These are probably a little bit too big for a tractor but they do fit perfectly into other things. Here's a mower that I use as a battery pack. It's really good on the front of the tractor because it weighs the it weighs the front wheels down a lot and improves your steering. So that's that's quite a good battery pack. And I used to have uh, AAA batteries in here. Then I switched to using LiPos, and as you can see, this battery fits pretty perfectly in there. So we could put two of these LiPo batteries in here and have the other two charging the charger while we use these ones. That's the that's really the benefit to this type of thing. Here's another here's another example of something that we could use. We have this uh, mower here which again was using AAA batteries, but I'm gonna switch that to LiPo batteries as well. And obviously there's loads of room in here for LiPos, could put two of them in and still have loads of space in that model. But obviously you're not limited to charging these batteries alone. This is uh, any single cell LiPo battery so I could just as easily plug this into it or I could hook it up to the John Deere. I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to attach these to the different models. I don't use this type of connection on my models so what I'll do is cut the wires on the battery, add a DuPont connector to this to make a little adapter that I can plug into the battery charger here and I can just connect whatever I want using the DuPont connectors. So that's probably how I'm going to do that. I'll probably do that with all of these batteries because like I said I don't use these connections on my models. Most of the cheap LiPo battery chargers that you get now are USB so this one is no exception and there's nothing strange about that. The reason for that is pretty obvious you need more than 3.7 volts to charge your single cell LiPo battery and everybody already has 5 volt USB power blocks for their mobile phones or uh, lots of devices like tablets and things like that all use these power blocks and those power blocks are much more expensive than these cheap little controllers so why would you want a cheap power block when you already have an expensive one just plug this little piece in just the final little bit of uh, voltage monitoring of the different batteries to make sure they don't overcharge and that's all you need really because you're not going to get a cheap power block that's better than the one that you already have for your phone so I have my power block from my tablet here, plug in my USB, connect this up to the little piece here. We'll hook in all five of our batteries because I'd imagine they won't be charged yet. We'll charge them all up now. It's obviously built to a point, you know, the, you can feel when you're pushing the connectors in that uh, it's a little bit rough. But it doesn't need to be expensive. It's only it's only a socket for a, you know to charge a few batteries. It doesn't make any difference. We have our five batteries hooked up, so I'll plug it in now. And you can see our five LEDs came on. And what I'd expect to happen is when all the batteries have charged, the LED will go out. So we're still plugged in here, and as you can see, all the batteries have gone out. Uh, that took about an hour, so I guess these batteries probably weren't too. Uh, discharged. They were probably charged a little bit when I got them. So, next thing I'll show you is I'll modify one of these wires and we'll charge a different battery. Well, here's the DuPont connectors that I'm going to use. Little crimp connectors and a little plastic uh, cover. So, important thing when you're cutting the leads on a battery, make sure you don't cut the two leads like that because you'll short the two wires out and you'll probably damage your battery. So, what we're going to do is cut one at a time. We'll cut them around about halfway to um, give us enough to connect something on both sides. So that's all we want. Okay, there's the two wires, so hopefully now we can fit them into our DuPont connector. The 
The wires are a little bit thicker than the hole, so take a little bit of persuasion. So here's our little adapter piece. We just hook that up to our battery charger. And now we can bring in the battery we want to charge, which is in this trailer. Make sure we get the connections the right way around. Positive to positive, ground to ground. And we can leave that to charge now. So that's as simple as it is to get this little charger to charge all the models. I have less than five models in a minute, so I could pretty much charge every model I have with this in one go, which is pretty useful. So Gearbest have lots of things like this for RC cars and RC um, drones and stuff like that. So make sure and check out their website and you might find something. This is about uh, $16 I think. There might be additional shipping fees as well, I'm not sure, but uh, still it's pretty cheap. Well that's all I have for you on the USB LiPo charger from Gearbest.com. They have lots of different things like this that you might find useful, so make sure and head over to their website and uh, uh, let us know what you find or what you think is useful. If you have any comments or suggestions you can head to the forum or uh, post below the video here. And if you like this video make sure and hit the like button or share the video. And that's everything so thanks very much for watching.